Hello everybody, DMartin95 here from Dan's Garage Stop, or Dan from uh, MartinMopeds.com. Uh, here today we're going to be doing a video about using Wiseco's Flex Hone Brushes. I have two of them here. Uh, this video is going to be for the GY6 style of engine. And what we're going to be doing is refreshing, getting this uh, cylinder freshened back up and ready for a new piston. Now, I've never used these style. When I ordered them, uh, selecting the size, I had to choose uh, between 57 to 70 millimeter or the 42 to 57 millimeter. Uh, I figured, you know, I work on a lot of big bore kits that go all the way up to 67 millimeter. I figured this would cover it. So I selected this one. However, look. You see how big that is? Let me try to give you. It's just pretty big for that. I mean, it may work. It may be just fine. But this one also says it's for a 57 millimeter. So I'm going to go with this one. And look, it's still bigger than the outer diameter when you're honing the cylinder you always 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 want to use a little bit bigger than the actual size if it's you know one inch and you order a one inch hone it will actually come in at like one one thirty seconds or one one sixteenth it'll be over they're always oversized now there's also a different style. Hang on just one second. Let me set this down. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Tripod. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me grab these other honing brushes real quick. Sorry, I guess I should have been more prepared. These, I need some more room, this tripod. These are your traditional, you may hear them referred to as dingleberry style. The flex hone, these are the original honing style brushes. These are perfectly fine to use and probably uh, what you should be using. I'm just trying these wise codes because uh, they were recommended by uh, someone that I know to know a lot about pistons. So I wanted to try them. Now, when selecting your grit, uh, you're going to have to do your own research. What I found out, I contacted uh, Brush Research Manufacturing right up here. They told me their recommendation for uh, uh, deglazing is 240 that's what grit you want you want to select silicon carbide because you're uh going with iron the the uh cylinder is iron and i guess it's got a hardener of nickel and a little bit of phosphorus that act as hardeners for the reseeding if you don't need to get rid of the uh if you don't need it deglazed and you're only prepping it for uh if you're reseating it, if you just want your rings to reseat, go with 320. 320 is perfectly fine and what is recommended for reseating your rings. So again, one or uh, 240 if you're going to go with uh, deglazing. And then after the deglazing, you go with 320. And you only do it for short amounts of time. So, let's get on with it, shall we? All right. When you, when, no matter what you hone it with, if if it's Wiseco's flex brush or the brush uh, research company, uh, you're always going to want to oil. They sell a flex hone oil. But when you're doing engine cylinders, I got this right from the tech at Brush Research. Uh, motor oil is just fine. So what we'll be using for this is 10W30. Just apply some oil to your brush.
All right. So that's really all you got to do to prep your brush. At least I hope. I've never used this before. This is the very first time I've ever tried this. You guys are uh, trying it out with me. All right. So now that we got our honing brush all oiled up, I'm not going to be able to keep, you're not going to be able to get real good close-ups because this is flinging oil and I don't want it to fling oil all over my camera. So, you know, just some facts that I should share. Never ever exceed 1200 RPMs. Start out around, you know, maybe 100, 200, 500 and accelerate when you uh, go through, you know, if you need to go faster, then speed up your RPMs. But never ever ever exceed 1200 RPMs. I have these uh, specs right here in my hand from the manufacturer. And uh, when you want to get your crosshatch pattern at the end, accelerate your rpms if you start out at 500 when you're about ready to finish uh go up to a thousand for the last five to ten seconds you only want to hone the cylinder out for in between 10 to 45 seconds five to 60 strokes you want to move at approximately 120 inches to 180 inches uh per minute so or actually I don't remember exactly how fast, but the point is you want to be moving at a good clip while you're doing this, and uh, it's also important to point out that you want this rotating when it enters, when it comes out, on entry and exit. So here we go. Let's try this out. Ah. See all that oil it flung? Now I'm trying to see what kind of finish I got. This isn't, you're going to want to clean with warm soapy water when you're done. Then lubricate it with oils to prevent oxidation. Alright. Well, I looked in there. Here, let me get it out of there. Alright, I'll try to get this on the camera best I can. Uh, there is a very nice crosshatch pattern in there. That is nice right there. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to get the best light for you. I got a little flashlight I'm shining in there. Yeah. I don't know, you guys out there in YouTube land will find a good shot and quickly hit the pause button. Once you find a good Ooh, that was a good one for a second. There you go. That is an extremely nice crosshatch pattern. It's crisscrossed all the way in there. Now, you might think, wow, that's not very smooth. Well, that's right. You don't want perfectly smooth in there. Uh, your rings will polish that down, and that's part of the process of reseating the rings. I've learned a lot about this honing process over the past... Uh, you know, a couple years, and that is, I'm really impressed with this Wiseco, Wiseco uh, tool. As you guys know, Wiseco is like top of the line, top of the line. 
So anyways, that's how you hone a cylinder for a GY6. You can use the Wiseco uh, nylon brush. You can use the uh, brush research manufacturing companies, uh, Dingleberry style. I'll be doing another video here and I don't know, as soon as I can get to it, I got a couple 50s that I'm going to, 50 cc's. I'm going to crack them apart and completely recondition the cylinders. And I'm going to show you guys how to properly remove carbon buildup without scraping on them or trying to take something abrasive to them. Use Berryman's Kim Dip. <laughs> Let it soak for a little bit. It takes it right off. So anyways, uh, I'll cover that when we do the 50. Uh, I hope you guys learned what you wanted to learn by watching this uh, video on how to hone out these cylinders. That's really nice. So, this is DMartin95, guys and gals, and, oh, I forgot to give myself a plug. How dare myself, huh? Anyways, if you guys need any parts or you need service, you know, parts, I feature Tata. I just became the Nibby representative for all of North America. I stock GY6 OEM parts. Anything you need for a Chinese scooter or the 150cc at least as far as the engine and a lot of electricals. I do not carry body panels and stuff like that. So, but anyways, uh, shop.martin, I can't even talk, shop.martinmopeds.com. And if you guys want to talk about anything you've seen, hit me up at my forum, uh, www.dansgaragetalk.com. Again, that's dansgaragetalk.com. Uh, Hope to see you guys there, and I hope you enjoyed this video. DMart95, and I'm out.